Hi everyone, welcome to Bible Story Time. Today's story is all about the Good Samaritan. So, take a seat and get ready for story time. Hi everyone, welcome back. So like I said, the story is the Good Samaritan and are you ready to listen? All right, let's start with our song. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So let's listen to our story. A little girl named Alice had a neighbor named Miss Brothers, who was always very busy doing what she could for others. Alice liked to visit, for it felt so peaceful there, sitting on a big, wide porch, rocking in a chair. She took her Bible storybook while visiting one day and chose to read a story, chose to read of Jesus and a man who came his way. How can I get to heaven? Was the question from the man. Jesus answered with a story of the Good Samaritan. As Alice read her story, the air mail bird stopped by. He brought this note to Alice and then flew off in the sky. Reading is the special key to take you where you want to be. Her book became a giant screen. The screen grew tall and wide and Alice walked on through the screen to Bible land inside. Alice was sent back in time, and much to her surprise, the story she was reading came to life before her eyes. Between the city of Jerusalem and the far off Jericho, there was a lonely, dangerous road where travelers feared to go. A man was walking down this road. Nobody was around when suddenly a band of thieves crept up without a sound. They moved so very quickly. There was nothing he could do. The thieves took everything he had, his clothes and money too. They hit him with a stick and then left him there to die on the desolate and lonely road where few men traveled by. Later on, a priest came by. He spied the poor man there. He saw that he was beaten and had no clothes to wear. But he didn't stop to help the man or see if he was dead. The priest was in a hurry, so he crossed the road instead. Soon a helper from the temple called a Levite came along. He saw the injured man and knew that something must be wrong. This Levite didn't slow his pace or see what he could do. He had to get to temple, so he hurried onward, too. Now both the priest and Levite ignored the man in need. Even though they were his neighbors, they did not do a helpful deed. As night came, a stranger trugged along the same road too. He saw the man and instantly he knew what he must do. 
there's someone injured lying here, a badly beaten man. If he's alive, I'll help him in any way I can. The stranger was from Samaria, a fierce, unfriendly land. Yet the Samaritan stopped on the road to offer a helping hand. The Samaritan asked softly if there was something he could do. He put ointment on each wound he saw, then the, and then Snow White bandages too. He helped him on his donkey and walked beside the injured load until he found a place to stop and in beside the road. <clears throat> All through the hours of the night, the good Samaritan did everything he could, he could do to help the injured man. He called to the innkeeper early the next day and said, I can stay no longer. I must be on my way. But here's a bit of money for the man who's lying there. Use it any way you can to give the best of care. <clears throat> and if you need more money, Spend what you must, and then I'll pay you when I return to this inn once again. The time had come for Alice to leave that Bible scene, so she returned from Bible land and came back through her screen. She left her neighbor's porch, she put her book away, and thought about the lesson learned in Bible land that day. From that, the story Jesus told of the Good Samaritan, we learn to give our very best to anyone we can. To belong to God's own family, I must learn to do for others and be as kind and caring as my neighbor, Mrs. Brothers. If someone's sick or hungry, I should never pass them by. I should treat them like a brother. Jesus' story showed me why. I love God with all my heart, and I'll show the love he's given. Isn't that the richest blessing on earth as well as heaven? The end. And now here's a couple of questions to talk about with your parents.
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back next time. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and you can also check out a playlist with more Bible stories in it.